This video will help demonstrate most of the features in the iTouch Stats Basketball stat keeping application. iTouch Stats Basketball gives you a variety of ways to track a game statistics. This puts you in control over how much information you'd like to track. Let us go ahead and select a game from the schedule and show you some of these options. The first prompt is for the home team. You'll need to choose if you want to track the individual player or team only stats for this team. If you choose individual player stats, you will then need to select the starters for that team. When the starters have been picked for the home team, you will get this prompt again, this time for the visiting team. I'll go ahead and pick the starters for the visiting team as well. After the visiting team's starters have been picked, you will be given an option to score the game play-by-play -play or input stat totals. You would use this option if a game has already been finished and you want to enter in the stats for that game. Let me show you quickly what that looks like. For now, I'll just select the play-by-play -play option. You will then need to choose what basket the home team is shooting on. The direction will automatically change at the end of the half. You can see here there's also an option to turn off the game clock. High Touch Stats Basketball gives you the option to score games using player photos or customizable jerseys. What is being used can be changed in the options menu when scoring a game. You can also choose to display first or last names. iTouch Stats Basketball provides some common game rules, including high school, college men, college women, and the NBA. But custom rules can be created. This ensures that things like the appropriate game time and the three-point line are used while keeping the game stats. The game rules for each season is set independently, letting you track as many seasons as you like for all different types of levels of basketball. Just select Create New to create a custom rule and fill out this information. Now let me show you what it would look like if you only wanted to keep individual statistics for one team and not the other. Here I'll select the team only option. And now you can see you're tracking individual player stats for the home team and team only for the away team. And this is what it would look like if you just wanted to track team only statistics for both teams. Now let's go over some options you have while scoring a game. You can track shots taken two different ways. The default is to track the location of the shot on the court, but you can turn off shot tracking for each team independently from the options menu. This lets you track detailed shot information for only one team if you like. If you turn off shot tracking, you'll just need to select what type of shot it was. As you can see, the shot location is still being tracked for the dogs, but not for the cats. The next thing I'd like to demonstrate is how the auto functions work. These were put in place to help speed things up, but if you wish these functions can be turned off in the options menu. The first auto function I'd like to show you is the auto assist. Let's say Aslan made a shot. You'll see a box pop up automatically asking if someone got an assist. To register an assist for a player, you would just tap on them. To not register any assist, you can just double tap on the box. There is also an auto rebound function. If a player misses a shot, a box will come up asking you who got the rebound. After you tap on a player, the app will automatically determine if the rebound is an offensive or defensive rebound based on who shot the ball. The last auto function is the auto turnover. If you register a steal for a player, it will then ask you to choose the player that the ball was stolen from. You may have noticed the boxes that appear next to a player as stats are registered. These are the player's main stats for the game. The red circle is fouls, the green box is for points, blue is for rebounds, silver is for steals, and black is for blocks. At any time during the game you can view more detailed stats for a player or team just by double tapping on that player or for a team that team score. If you use the game clock, you can actually see what a player or a team is on pace to get based on how much time is left in the game. From here you can view the season stats and shot charts for that team or player. At the beginning of the game you're given the option to turn off the game clock. This can also be changed any time from the options menu. To advance to the next period, you just tap on the button in the scoreboard. 
At the end of each period, you will see the key players of the game for each team. You can also view stat leaders by category. You can also check out the game report. The game report can be accessed at any time during the game and after. This report now includes team logos at the center court if they were created. New in version 2.05, you will have the option to print the report directly to an AirPrint compatible printer, or you can attach and send the report in email just with the tap of a button. At any time during the game, you can update your friends, family, and team fans of the game status via a post or a tweet. This can be done from the options menu. This will post the current score and game time of the game. When a game is finished, the app will choose a player of the game for both teams. The stats for this player can be posted on Facebook or Twitter. Individual player and team reports can be viewed from the stats menu. Both have the option to choose from seasons or individual games. Some examples of these reports can be downloaded from itouchstats.com. Thank you for your interest in iTouchStats basketball.